iron buckle off of a horse tack or something. Oh, Nate just got some barbed wire. There's a bunch of glass in here too. Look at a lot of glass. That doesn't look that old though. But we're at an old house site. Um, it was here in the 40s. I don't know when it was built though. But there's some stuff. Big old hunk of chain. Um, can't tell how old that is. It's been in the ground a long, long time, though. Oh, silver. Oh, I scratched it with my dang finger. Oh, it's a, it's all right though. It's 1940. I'll rub this one. Man, that was a good signal. 1940D. That was like right on the surface. How deep was that? Two inches? Holy smokes. Silver. A couple feet away from that silver dime, I see a coin and it was ringing up 60s. I really, really hope it's an Indian head and I can't find it. Down in here. Oh my god, it's a shotgun shell. I thought that was a freaking coin. Ah! Well, I think we are on a little house site. I don't know how old it is, but I found a mercury dime, found a little bit of clad, and now I just found a weedy. 1958D, so that is a very last year wheat penny. We're on some sort of house site. I was hoping for older, but hey, I'll detect 40s, 50s. Maybe there's some older stuff here. But a weedy is a weedy. He got a round ball. Fired. Don't know what caliber that is. Definitely civilian. It is way too small to be military. Eighty seven, eighty eight, ninety. This is really, really hard dirt right here. Welcome back. I hit it. Of course, I hit it. It's a big old solid piece of brass. I think it's a, uh, a uh, like a hose clamp or something. Gave a killer signal though. Meln something USA. Big old hunk of brass. New spot. Never been here before. Just dug a piece of junk, but in the hole. It's an old bone. Someone's supper back in the day. I don't know if there's a house in here or not, but there's a bunch of iron and some signs like this right here. That looks like front step. So hopefully there was a house here. I mean, there's got to be. Look at that. Got to be.
We'll get back with you. Well, 90 signal, screaming 90s. This bad boy popped out. Some sort of, holy smokes. That's a Red Rider. Daisy Manufacturing Company, 1988. 1938 to 1988. So this is from 1988. Red Rider. I guess off of a gun or something. Thought that would be older. But that's okay. From the 80s, obviously. Sweet. 90. Toy gun. Sure, how old? Bring up 88. Another insane signal. I'll turn it up a little bit so you can hear it. 90. That's tight, too. Very shallow though. We are in the middle of nowhere. Oh, hopefully it's no more of that zinc stuff. Come on, silver dollar. No, it's smooth, whatever it is. It's further down. We go wide. Hope I didn't hit it already. Yeah, it's deep. You're gonna have to give me a minute, I will be right back. Yeah, trim off of something. Nothing written on it, but it is massive. Big as my shovel. Old railroad spike. This looks like a smaller one. I don't see any numbers on the top, but it could be rusted on there. All right, so I just heard like a jumpy 70s. Dug it out of the hole. I can see a rim too, check this out. Let me turn it up so you can hear it. <laughs> 78. It's a rim of a coin. Come on, Indian. It's very, very chunky. Oh, no, it's a wheat penny. I can see the one cent with the wheat. So it would flip like this. Oh, wow. That is not in very good shape. It's a 19 teens. Come on, 1914D. Come on, 1914 D. It is a D. I'm gonna have to work on it. I can't quite read that. 19 something D. Well, there it is. I think it's 1918 D. It's hard to make out, but that's another coin out of here. Awesome. We got another coin in the sidewall here. 75. If you know the AT Pro, that is zinc pennies and Indian head pennies or extremely worn regular pennies. Oh yes, it's an Indian head penny. I can see it right there. The wreath. Oh yes. Indian. What's the date going to be like? 1891 right there I'll have to clean it up and get back with you and show you a better picture of it here it is all cleaned up the back is in much better shape than the front you can barely read it even read the date on it but it is 1891 Indian head penny. Woohoo! I would say we definitely have another coin here. Let me try to turn it up for you. I would 
say so. Either that or a rivet. Hopefully it's thin silver. 78, 79. Oh, I don't think it's a coin. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's an electrical cable. 1916. It's got a patent date on it. Something 22nd, 1916. Huh? Electrical from 1916. Well, I'd say we definitely stumbled on a new house site. Found the hinge. Got four coins, one Indian head even. Silver, two Wheaties. And this might be like a rosette or something. I have no idea. It's got like two finials on this. Piece of copper, very fancy. Or is that just a fancy rivet? Don't know, but I love it. Time for the roundup here. So today I detected for about eight hours and we were only on a good site for maybe an hour of that time. So this is all just a whole bunch of junk in there. I've already dumped the bag a couple times, um, but that's junk. These are all the good stuff that we found in that period of time. Start off up here, giant piece of copper, a hinge for a house that we found towards the very end. Uh, this was earlier in the day, but that's a uh, piece of brass. Scrap that. This is weird. It looks like teeth, but there's iron surrounding these, and it's like chalky, like limestone or something. It's quite weird. This, it's got like two finials connected to iron. I don't know what that is. Probably decoration off furniture or something along those lines. And we got a big old piece of brass right here. Just scrap that. It's a 90 signal. No idea what that is. Big old hunk of melted lead with some charcoal in the middle of it, actually. And we got this right here. I'm not sure what this is. It's aluminum, but I kept it. Um, piece of a cap gun. We got our Red Rider BB gun. Um, 1988, 1937 to 1988. So that's like a, uh, what do you call it? Like a medallion for how long they've been in business. Got a beautiful iron buckle, a round ball, some pottery. Clad, we got one, two, three, four, five, six quarters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pennies, and one dime. And for the best finds, we got a 1940 Mercury dime. That, very good right there. D mint mark. We also got a 1958 last year wheat penny, D mint mark. We got a 1918 D or S. I think it's actually an S. 1918 S uh, wheat penny. And an 1891 Indian head penny. The back on this one's gorgeous. So, hope you all enjoyed this hunt. I know I sure did. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next. Bye for now.